Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag video. Nobody tagged me, but if somebody's watching this and they want to do this video, I tag you. I am wearing the pink fuzzy sweater from my previous Shein haul video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll post the link below. Go check it out. But yeah, I haven't been able to take this sweater off. So here we are. So the first question is, what does your name mean? So my name is Chelsea, obviously. And the definition of Chelsea, as per Google, is a port of ships or chalk landing place. That's why you have Chelsea in London and Chelsea Piers in New York City. The next question is, who did you look like growing up? I'm going to try and put some pictures in here, but I think that I definitely looked like my dad growing up. Which one of your parents are you most like? Um, <laughs> hopefully I'm most like my father. Thanks, dad. I'm sure I share characteristics with both. Which one of your parents are you closer to? I am closer to my dad. We talk pretty much every day. I think I annoy him every day. So thanks, Dad, for playing up with me. Love you. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Uh, I didn't know the answer to this, so I messaged my dad, and I will insert his answer here. So Tyler is what I would have been named if I was the opposite gender. Are your parents still married? No, they are not. <laughs> is your father bald? No, he is not. I mean, I'm sure he will be someday, but right now I like my dad with his hair. Do you have any siblings? I do. This is kind of a messy story. Uh, I have a brother and a sister. So my brother and I have the same mom, but a different dad. I don't even know how to begin explaining this. So the man my mother had my brother with is named Scott. And Scott, previous to getting together with my mom, had a daughter, Kaylee, with another woman. Kaylee and Scott met my mom. And Scott and my mom had my brother Sebastian. Kaylee came into the story from Scott. I don't know if you would call her my stepsister. Um, I guess if our parents were married, that's what she would be called. Our parents are not married, nor are they together anymore. But Kaylee is very much still in my life. So I do consider her as one of my siblings. And of course, Sebastian is my half-brother because we share the same mom. Which one of your siblings are you closer to? Well, considering there is a 12-year age difference between my brother and I, and there is a three-year age difference between my sister Kaylee and I, I would say that I'm closer to Kaylee, mainly because we're both girls, we're near the same age, and we just have more, I guess, in common than Sebastian and I do. However, Sebastian, if you're watching this, I love you with my whole entire heart. That being said, I still do talk to my brother almost every day, and we are still very close. What do you call your grandparents? I call my grandma, grandma, and I call my grandpa, pa. Are your grandparents still married? On my mother's side, no, they have been divorced since before I was born. On my dad's side, my grandparents are still married and they actually just celebrated their 55th wedding anniversary um, probably about a month ago. So congrats to you guys if you're watching this. Love you. What was your favorite subject in high school? Um, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't attend high school very often. My attendance was not spectacular, but I did take drama every year of high school. And then in my final year of high school, I was a student teacher for a drama class as well. So I had drama two times a day. So I would say drama class was my favorite class. What is the worst grade you've gotten on a test? I'm sure they were all awful. So I think the better question here would be what was your best grade on a test? And I would say a passing grade. Who is the best teacher you've ever had? I have had some amazing teachers. I'm sure that they didn't really like me at the time because like I said, I was not the best student. Um, I think that I didn't attend school more often than I did attend school. But there are some teachers that deserve a shout out here. Mr. Sam Bell, my drama teacher, you the best. Madame Robinson Sisk, literally, I probably would not have graduated if it wasn't for her. And honestly, I, she only taught me one class in my first year of high school. I could be wrong about that. I don't really, it was years ago, okay, I don't really remember. But she stayed my favorite throughout all my years of high school. She's just the most amazing woman that I have ever met. Love you, Madame. Mr. Anderson, my history teacher, I think that he made me appreciate history the way that I do now. So thank you for that, Mr. Anderson. Probably without you, I wouldn't have any desire to travel the world like I am now. So I definitely appreciate your existence in my life. Last but not least, Mr. Sinha. I highly doubt he will ever see this video, but he does deserve a huge shout out because he put up with so much. I really appreciate him more than I can say. Who is the first person you call when something exciting happens? It honestly depends on what has happened, but it's either my dad, my best friend Mel, or my best friend Emily. What is your most used swear word? I'm sorry to all my viewers, my most used swear word. What store would you choose to max out your credit card at? 
probably Walmart because they have everything that I need, like toiletries, food. What is the last movie you watched? The last movie I watched was Rocket Man, one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. If you haven't watched it and you like Elton John or you know even one or two Elton John songs, please watch it. You will not regret it. What is the last book you read? The last book I read, I have it here. It's called A Stolen Life by J.C. Ducard. What book are you currently reading? I'm currently reading this Norse, Norse mythology book by Neil Gaiman. I'm watching the series Vikings on Amazon Prime right now and it made me get really into the subject of Vikings, which I never thought it would be something that would interest me, but here we are. Um, so I ordered this book on Amazon for like four pounds, I think. It's very good so far, complicated to like follow along with because there's lots of like strange names and words, but very good book. Do you save your greeting cards or do you throw them away? It depends. Uh, if someone has taken the time to write a nice little message, I will keep it. If it's just, Merry Christmas, Chelsea, I'll likely throw it away. Fun fact about this, one of my tattoos actually comes from a greeting card that my grandparents gave me for Christmas, and it's my grandma's handwriting saying love always XOXOXO. Where are you from? I am from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. How far away from your birthplace do you live now? Right now I'm living in Scotland, which is a whole ocean away from my home, 3,052 miles away from my birthplace. What is your eye color? My eyes are blue. Do you have a tattoo? I do have a tattoo. I have seven of them. What was your first job? My first job was at McDonald's. I started working there in 2010 and I worked there all the way until 2014. So four years. What do you collect? I collect magnets from everywhere that I visit in the world, but one day I hope to display all these magnets on a fridge in my house. How many relationships have you been in? I have been in three serious relationships. What? Are you an organ donor? I am an organ donor. What is your star sign? I am on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio. When was your first serious relationship and how long was it? My first serious relationship was in 2013. I was 17 years old and it was four years. Would you ever consider living abroad? I'm currently living abroad, so yes, I have considered it and I have done it. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink, but I also really am liking this like pastel -y lilac color that's around lately. I'll put. What is one guilty pleasure you enjoy too much to give up? Bad TV. I, I watch many questionable shows that are just so terrible. For example, Secret Life of the American Teenager. Uh, it's awful, but I'm addicted. Same with like Arthur. All of these shows that I should not be watching, I love and I will not stop watching them. Do you sleep with any lights on? No, I do not. I cannot. Um, if it comes down to it, I have like an eye mask that I wear. No lights. I do, however, sleep with sound on, so like I'll play a show on my phone and fall asleep to it. I don't think I can sleep without any sound, but I definitely cannot sleep with lights. How many oceans have you swam in? I have swam in the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and the Aegean Sea. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's the sea that borders Santorini, Greece. I swam in that. Do you have a whole lot of acquaintances or a few close friends? Both. I have my group of best friends, three or four of them. And then I like to keep in contact with people that I was once friends with. You know those people that were your friends in high school and then you guys just drifted apart or the people that you knew in elementary school and you were close with but then time just pulled you apart? I like to keep in contact with those people because it, it was life that made us drift apart, not anything between us. So I love to keep in contact with people that I did once know or I was once friends with. So I would say the answer to that question is both. How many countries have you been to? I have been to 15 countries. Do you have any allergies? Fun fact, I didn't actually know about this allergy until a few months ago. I found out while I was in Scotland. Uh, I'm deathly allergic to shellfish. Who would have known? And I now have an EpiPen. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. Hopefully you learned a little bit about me. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon. Hopefully I will be making another video and I will see you guys later.